Lady Shruti and uh, I have been very very excited to do a dark lip for the longest time and I'm so glad I'm doing this look with a dark lip for the longest time I think I was stuck with my pink in the nude so yes today I have this really dramatic cut crease with golden inner corner dark lips kind of a look I love this look I was honestly just winging it but I knew that I wanted this on my inner corners uh, like the gold on my inner corners and uh, yes i had so much fun filming this i hope you guys enjoy the tutorial and without any further ado let's get on with the show hey guys so i already have my base and everything on my concealer foundation powder all of that jazz and my brows so we're going to go with the eyes i'm going to prep my eyes with this base by mac it's this paint pot called lane low I really like the color of this and the consistency of this paint pot and I think it forms the perfect base for all the eyeshadow shenanigans that is going to get up in here right now. Uh, then I'm going to use this cream color shadow from this makeup studio palette. I'm going to use this palette for the whole tutorial today and uh, yeah just set in all of that base that we have going on. Uh, now with this L'Oreal gel liner I am going to do the crease work. Uh, slightly taking a little bit of a product at one time I'm going to uh, carve out my crease and go in with my uh, pencil brush back and forth back and forth you want to take your time with this not hurry up because this is the star of the show this is the cut crease look so you want to take your time perfecting this I also didn't get it right in my first go so it is not something which can go right or rather I should say that it can definitely go wrong if you don't do it with time. So take your time with this and don't hurry up. Uh, then I'm going to just blend it all in with this dark brown eyeshadow from the Makeup Studio palette so that it just looks really seamless. And then with that uh, light brown I'm going to you know kind of even out the crease area and all the shenanigan that we've done on top of it right now. Then it's eyeliner time. I'm using the gel liner by L'Oreal for this one. I'm not going in with a very thick uh, wing liner. I'm going with a pretty thin wing liner only for this one. Uh, just because I want to keep the concentration more on the uh, cut crease rather than my eyeliner. So yeah, that is why I'm not going with a very very dramatic wing. Then on my lower lash line, I'm just using this uh, same color that I used on my crease uh, from this Makeup Studio palette. It's the darkest brown which is there in the palette. Now mascara time. Oh my god, I am in complete love with the Sivana Colors eye-catching two-step mascara. I'm using the primer side over here and then now I'm using the mascara side. It makes my lashes twice as long and not even kidding you guys it is so amazing and you can already tell the boo-boos that have happened on top of my eyelids because of the length that I achieved with this so I'm just going to quickly um, make it okay with a little bit of um, eyeshadow and kind of cleaning my eyelids right now and yeah and because my lashes I felt were so long they need a little more volume so I'm going in with my Miss Manga trusty Miss Manga uh, over my top and bottom lashes get it up in here yeah uh, now oh my god this is what inspired the look for me when I saw this I just knew I had to use this this is this liquid gold eyeliner oh my god I'm going to put this on the inner corners of my eye and kind of making it like a pointy tip on my inner corner just to give it that you know cat eye shape to my eyes uh, and also extending it up till the inner third not all the way out but yes uh, now nude eyeliner time i'm going to use this mac uh, nude liner called naked 
on my waterline and I used a nude because I just felt it suited the look a lot more than a black so that's why I went in with the nude. Now eyelashes, these I got from Bangkok so I'm just going to do this off camera and be right back. Uh, now it's face time, I'm going to put this MAC, uh, sorry, pack contour palette on my face but I felt that this looked a little too orange on me so I quickly shifted to my Savannah Colors Bronze Professional and put that on my cheeks and all the other areas that I would usually contour which is below my jawline, on my forehead and all of that and then with this big fluffy brush, uh, it's a blush brush, I just like you know kind of buffing and blending that all out uh, before it gets like too patchy uh, yeah so I just like doing that and then I'm just cleaning my yeah contour a little bit where I felt it was necessary and uh, yeah oh my god this is the blush it is this color bar blush it is the most beautiful corally blush with like gold flexes in it it is beautiful and I felt that it matches this look perfectly without going too over the top so yes I completely enjoyed using this all over my cheeks uh, mainly concentrating on the apples of my cheek but yes you all know I love this highlighter this is the Savannah Colors Mineral Blush Highlight oh my god the shine gods are smiling at me today this highlighter is so amazing you can see the glow oh my god god uh, and then at all the usual places bridge of my nose and uh, on top of my cheekbones everywhere just like put the highlight everywhere like you can see about my eyebrows everywhere just everywhere let them glow honey let them glow ah. then I'm going to use this trick I'm going to wet my beauty blender with my fix plus a little bit and go over my highlight with this it just pushes the product in and not make the highlight look too powdery and you really get the lit from within kind of a glow and it looks bea beautiful oh my god yes yes look at that now it's lips time so I'm just going to line my lips I, I think it's a B.O.B liner I, I'll list it down below uh, this was the closest uh, lip liner that I had to this plummy color that I wanted to use I'm just putting it on the actually all over my lips uh, thin layer so that it acts as a base for my lip color and then I'm going to use this faces MAC lipstick OMG guys I think it is like the perfect dupe for the MAC Rebel lipstick even it it even looks like a MAC lipstick from the tube like when I see it I just feel that I'm oh my god am I using MAC no I'm using faces for half the my for half the price sorry <laughs> so yes I completely love this color and um, I was so excited to use a dark lip after such a long time so Yay! <sighs> now I'm just going to do this extra step I like doing this because a I have a lot of darkness around my mouth so I'm just going to take some concealer and uh, kind of clean up my lips uh, clean up around my lips uh, this completely makes the color pop and makes your lips look so sophisticated and put together love it so yes that is the finished look shine guys yeah. so that is the finished look I am completely in love Oh my god in love with this highlight and uh, I have to say that dabbing a little bit of fix plus in your uh, beauty blender and going over your highlight it makes such a difference like my highlight doesn't look powdery and like too in your face but it looks more blended and my skin looks a lot more healthy and glowy that way so thank you Nicole Guerrero girl I love you I learned this tip from you so yes and uh, yes if you like such videos you know what to do give boss lady a thumbs up because that will make me really happy subscribe to my channel because 
yes i need gratification i like it when y'all do that so that i can keep doing what i do for you yes <laughs> uh so like i said love love please subscribe and until next time keep it bossy we are dreaming in the dark we are nothing more than dust